This is a concept video. I would like to be able to create all sorts of widgets using Streamerbot, starting with goal widgets. I understand that they're typically made with CSS, but honestly, I struggle with that. I'm more of a visual person. I want the box to go left and right, so I clicked and I dragged it to the right. Also, Streamerbot already triggers things in my OBS studio. Streamerbot already triggers things on my computer. Streamerbot triggers things on my Twitch channel, so I feel like it's appropriate. Anyways, as you can see on my screen here, the first thing that I wanted to build was an emote counter slash hype meter. Basically, in the beginning of my stream, I would be on my starting soon screen and there would be like a meter and people would have to type or, or basically spam one emote over and over and over again until we reach the end and then we would begin the stream. So here's the concept. Let's go ahead and create a brand new scene. And instead of Kappa, let's create the haha. -ha. And we're just gonna add two color sources, one for the background, we can call this color back. And then I can duplicate this by right clicking, copy, paste, duplicate, and then F2 to rename it. And this will be color bar. And we can change the color here. Let's go with purple. So it's going to be a progress bar. First thing that I'm gonna do is basically drag this all the way to the side, maintaining my position um, horizontally, just like that. Now, I don't know if you've been watching my videos, but I have plenty of videos showing how to use the move plugin, and that's what we're gonna use to, to move it. So we're gonna add it to the scene in general. So I'm gonna right click filters, plus go to move source right there. And we're gonna call this reset position. We're gonna make sure that we select color bar and scroll down, click get transform. Boom, so we basically save that initial position. I'm gonna duplicate this and I'm gonna name this one increments position. So even if you're not interested in doing a widget, you will know how to move things with increments. Color bar is still selected, of course. And this time under transform, we're gonna click transform relative. Nice, you're gonna see our values change a little bit. And under position X, which is, well, I, I'm waving at the camera like, like you can see me. We're gonna put 190. All right, so what happens now is every time this is activated, this moves, okay? And if you wanna reset it, it goes back. You can play around with the time it takes, make it smoother or not, so it looks extra fancy. Let's put this at three seconds. Let's put a big one to the reset. If I reset it for three seconds, ooh, fancy. I should've put the increments at 192 because I want to have 10 increments before it fills the screen. And since 1080p, 1920, you get it. So let me add some increments here. And there's something else that I want to happen is that I kind of want the colors to change while this is moving. So in the color bar, I'm gonna add color correction. Okay. And I'm also going to add a move value. Under filter, I'm gonna select color correction, of course. Move value type, we're gonna go to add. This is also how to add increments in the move value filter. So you can basically incrementally move any setting from any filter. Now we select the scene, it's hue shift, and then the value is going to be the increment. And we're gonna put 18, I believe it goes from minus 180 to 180, so 18 should just bring it all the way to the right. And if we do this, you can see it move. One thing that I forgot to do is put a reset on that. <laughs> so I'm gonna duplicate this. I'm gonna rename the first one, move reset. And in this case, move reset needs to be single setting. So it's not gonna be increments. It's just gonna be, hey, what value should I put to the hue? And it's going to be zero. And if I click on it, it'll go back to the initial position. This is gonna be part of the whole reset thing so we can make it go super slow when it's going back. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and nice. All right, so let's do the streamer bot part. And here, to make it less intimidating, I turned off a bunch of the tabs. So we're just gonna need actions and commands, I believe. But we're gonna need a couple of actions, so it's better to create a group. I'm gonna right click here and click add. The first action that I want is just the bar moving. So we're gonna call it haha bar move, and we're gonna name the group haha. <laughs> click OK. So our move source is on the haha scene. So we can right click OBS scene set scene filter state because it's a filter scene haha filter is increments position. Now for the color, now for the color, right click OBS sources set source filter state. That's the scene. The source is color bar. The filter is move value. All right, so far so good. So now what we need is for StreamerBot to count how many times people actually put the haha -ha emote. So we're gonna create a new action, right click, add, and haha -ha counter. Put it in the same group, haha. -ha. 
click OK. Now, I basically watched the video on how to set up a death counter in Streamerbot, and that's what I'm gonna use. So I'm not super familiar with it. I'm doing my best. Right click, go to core, go to globals, click on global get. So this is basically it pulling information from a variable that we're gonna create. Variable name, we're gonna call it haha count. Destination variable, we're gonna give it the same name. And then default value, we're gonna go with zero. Cause hey, it's starting. I don't even think we need to put the default value here. And in order to figure out the counting, you can make it send a message in Twitch chat to basically tell you what it's, what it's thinking, <laughs> what's going on. So I'm gonna right click. I'm gonna go to Twitch this time. Where is it? There we go. Chat, send message to channel. Pick your preferred account. I'm gonna go broadcaster. And it's gonna be like the haha count is at, and then I'm gonna put the variable that we created. So I'm gonna put it in between percentages, just like that. So haha count was the variable that we created. It's right there and click okay. Now we need a way to trigger it. And we can do this by creating a command. Now you can right click here, go to core, commands, command triggered, and then create a command from there or you can click on that tab there and just create it there. Let's do this. So the command is haha. -ha, and of course the word that it's listening to is haha. -ha. Click okay and click okay. And just like that, if I type haha, -ha, the haha -ha count is at zero. If I type it again, it is still at zero. Now we need to figure out how to add increments in Streamerbot. So let's right click, go to core, globals, and global set this time because we're changing it. So variable name, haha -ha count. And what we want to happen is an increment of one every time and click OK. Now, when we type, we don't want it to tell us the count and then increase it. We want it to increase it, then tell us how much it is after it's increased, right? So let's do it again. Boom. Now it's at zero. Now it's at one. Now it's at two. And now it's at three. And now it's at four. Okay, you get the point. The other thing that we want to happen every time we type it is of course, for this to move and also change color. So let's do that. I'm just gonna right click, core, actions, and run action. Now, I know that I have this like separated in its own action when I could have basically just added the stuff here, but I don't know, it's just a little cleaner like that. We're gonna go ahead and find our haha -ha bar move, select, boom. But also that way, if there's some other logic that we want to create, like, hey, if it's past 10, stop moving it, we can also do that. So let's test it out. Would you look at that? Would you look at that? Oh, it's blending into the other color. There you go. Oh no, you can see that once it's past 13, it goes all the way through and we don't want that. We would like to find a way to reset it. So let's create that. Add new action, haha -ha reset, put it in a group, boom, right click, OBS, scene, set scene filter state, filter is reset position, good. Right click, OBS, sources, set source filter state, color bar and the filter is move reset. Nice. Now what is going to trigger that reset? Um, I personally like to create a command for myself or, you know, later on, once you're really comfortable with all this, you can make it so that maybe it reaches 10, it waits 10 seconds and then it reset, resets itself. So let's create a command. I'm going to right click core commands, command triggered, create command, call it haha -ha reset. And the command is maybe exclamation mark reset but you don't want anyone to be able to reset it. So I'm gonna put this to deny all and click okay. Now, if I press reset, exclamation mark reset that is. Beautiful. Oh, you can see that I had my old command here for the kappas. <laughs> I had it so that it tells me that it's been reset, but we haven't set that up yet. All right, so now let's make sure that it stops after 10. And we're just gonna be like, hey, check the counter. If it's more than nine, stop what you're doing basically. <laughs> <laughs> so let's right click core logic if else and the variable is haha -ha counter operator is going to be greater than and the value is nine 
and you can see that if it's greater than nine, you can tell it to perform an action, which is how you could do like celebrations. Like if you want to trigger something else once it reaches the goal. And then here we're gonna pick break. And then the else is, okay, if it's not greater than nine, what do I do? Well, nothing, just continue. Okay, click okay. And of course this should be probably right after we get the count. So every time I type, it's gonna be like, Hey, pull up how many hahas were in chat. Check if the amount is greater than nine. If not, bump it up by one. Put the Twitch message and move it. Okay, so let's reset everything. In the reset, I forgot to tell it to set the count to zero somehow. Let's go to haha reset. So in haha reset, we're gonna right click, go to core, globals, and we're gonna get the position first. We're gonna get the position for our variable, which is haha count. I don't think we need default value here. We're gonna make sure that's on top. So basically first thing to do, and then we're gonna go core, globals, and we're going to set. This time, same variable name, value is going to be zero. So bring it back to zero. Also gonna put this right there, boom. So now when I reset, it should not only bring it back, change the color, but also set it to zero. All right, taking a sweet time. It should be zero. Please be zero. There you go. <laughs> the power of editing is not gonna show you all the mistakes I made. <laughs> so now we get to test if it's going to stop moving after 10. It doesn't. The amount of typos that I'm making in this video is wild. So <laughs> my whole logic wasn't uh, working. It wasn't breaking because I had typed haha counter instead of haha count anyways <laughs> let's reset try again okay so we're at nine so now it works it works you can see it's not going past nine the only way to make it start over again is by typing reset now the count is back to zero there you go now, quite obviously, with the hype meter that I'm trying to do, we don't need the chat to tell us how many emotes were said. So we're going to change that and delete that action. Now is my favorite part. It's the graphic design part. You can create whatever graphics you want, as long as you can put parts of this inside and make it fill up. So I'm going to do something quick in PhotoP and we'll be right back. So what I'm doing now is basically exporting all of the shaders, quote unquote. And I'm also going to export a separate layer, which is going to be my alpha mask, if you will. Then back to OBS Studio, what I can do is just add those as images. We have that, another image, and we have that. Now I could group them up and just add the mask to the group, but I'm scared that it's going to mess up with StreamerBot, so we're not gonna do that. Instead, I'm gonna bring the mask all the way to the bottom, and I need to adjust this a little bit because I have some of the bevel on the side, so I'm just gonna crop it. That's better. Now to figure out exactly how I wanna place it in this scene, I thought about putting it in a group and all that, but I feel like right now is the best time to put it in the scene. So this is my main scene, hi. I'm gonna add it as a scene. I know a viewer, Frio is watching, is like, don't use nested scenes, use, use folders instead. Uh, actually, this doesn't work if you do it with folders. The scene is haha, -ha. click okay. It's gonna look weird, but now we can go to filters and we can use Finite Singularity's Advanced Mask. So that's a plugin you need to download, install it to have that working. Under mask type, we're gonna go to source and under source, we're gonna find our bar mask. Remember, you remember we had bar mask right there. Boom. Okay, not too bad. Maybe we wanna expand it a little bit or instead I can just add the other image here. What am I doing? What am I thinking? So let's go back to our haha. -ha. So the quote unquote shader, I'm just gonna right click that and turn it off here. Copy it. And I'm gonna paste a duplicate, turn it on. Now we have the full thing. Now, would you look at that for you? We're gonna make a group. <laughs> and we're gonna call it final bar. This is not optimal, but I, I wanna be done with this. <laughs> Widget. There you go, right there. You can even give it a little color. Of course, you can now scale it and place it wherever you 
want. So if I press reset, here we go. Let me change the, I can still, now the advantage here is that you can just change the colors pretty easily, just like that. I can set this one to that, then, all right. I can't believe this is working. <laughs> Ooh, that looks awful. Let me play around with the color. Yes. <laughs> there we go. And uh, it shouldn't go past this. It is not. And I can reset it. Ah, uh, yeah. Let's make the TikTok clip. So we created this bar right here. It is meant to measure the hype of your chat before you switch from your starting soon scene to your full scene. For example, you can tell them to spam a specific emote and every time they put it in chat, it's gonna grow, change color a little bit until it reaches the goal and it will stop. There you go. And we did that using three simple StreamerBot actions. Of course, since it's StreamerBot, you can add like a celebration. You can have, I don't know, fireworks when it reaches the goal. You can have it, I don't know, mute your mic, shake your camera, make the whole screen wobble, press a key on your keyboard, play a sound, everything a regular widget would do and way more. Oh, you wanna make it RGB? All right, go to filters, add a user defined shader. That's from the shader filter plugin. Go to browse. This was in my recent video. Go to hue rotation and there you go. That simple. Can make it go fast too. So now you have an RGB bar that you can reset, of course. And <laughs> just like that, you don't like it being horizontal. That's fine. Right click, transform, rotate 90 degrees counterclockwise. Oh, congrats. Now you have a ha ha meter. That's vertical. How cool is that? How cool is that? <laughs> Other ideas, you're doing a charity event and mm, other ideas, you're doing a charity event, for example, you don't want a bar, you want something that affects the whole screen. Let's turn off the mask. Let's reset our transform, turn off that shader, right click on the group, set the blending mode to add and let's reset it. So now every time there's a donation, you can either fill the screen or reveal the screen. That's just some ideas. Again, my goal is to spark your creativity so that you can come up with cool stuff for yourself. I'm gonna spend time customizing mine. It will probably be like 100 increments instead of 10. Oh, and by the way, you can also add some text. Let me go text GDI. And then in your haha counter, you can go to OBS sources, set text, set GDI text, sorry. So like your source, and you can set the text to say, you know, that number. What was it? Haha ha, ha count. Percentage. Hopefully that works. Click OK. It doesn't work because we probably need to get it first. So get global haha ha count. Let's duplicate that and put it on top. There you go. All right. There we go. Of course, percentage doesn't work here because it would be. <laughs> It wouldn't be 4%, it would be 40%, but you get the point. You get the point. You can, you can display the value if you have to. <laughs> what if I did, I just put a zero here. Would that work? Probably not. Nope, never mind. It works. There you go. <laughs> I just put a zero. <laughs> nice. Anyways, follow me on Twitch. Go up there and make me proud get level out.